There's a debate among home safety professionals about which smoke detector you should use. You may have noticed at the hardware store there's definitely more than one type. But which one is best to keep your family safe? Nine on your side's Larry Smith is in Newport tonight with some answers. Larry? Well, Carol, I tell you what, this has been an education for me, and I hope that our viewers also feel the same way. I'm here right now with Gary Alford, who's the captain of the Newport Fire Department. Gary, first off, help me out. What's the difference between the ionization and the photoelectric? They look almost identical just looking at it, you know, from the eye. They do. They look identical, and even the packages look identical when you get the packages. But if you turn these over and you can look at the back, they both, one says photoelectric, the other says ionization. Also on the packages here, if you look at the bottom, the one says ionization at the bottom, and the other one says photoelectric here at the top. What's the difference in, the, in how they work? Well, the photoelectric one works, there's a light inside a chamber, mm -hmm. and the smoke and particles go up in the chamber, and it reflects the light back, and mm -hmm. then sets the smoke detector off. Mm -hmm. This would be more for smoldering fires. Mm -hmm. the, the ionization actually has radiation that goes between two plates mm -hmm. and uh, creates electrical charge. Mm -hmm. Ionization, okay. and the smoke particles go through that, break that, that ionization, and sets the detector off. This would be more for flaming fires. Okay, more for smoke, more for flaming. Uh, I have these in my house, as we all do. How do I know which one I have in my house? You'd actually have to take it off and look at the back of it to see what which one you have. Okay, okay. Uh, and the, and the best one, we don't have one here to demonstrate, but the best is obviously the dual technology that has right. both of them. A little more expensive, but worth, more expensive. worth the money. Worth the money. It'd be like buying a six dollar smoke detector or twelve dollar smoke detector. Which one do you want to save your life? Okay. Obviously, the twelve dollar smoke detector. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, how do I know which ones I need to put in my home? Uh, the dual technology is obviously better. That's what we as a fire department, NFPA, the International Association of Fire Chiefs all recommend the dual technology. Mm -hmm. And they will go in your living space and in the hallway. Okay. That's okay. the best place for it. Okay. And I know we have some information as well on our website, WCPO.com, to kind of find out more information on this. Um, we're going to do a test here in the moment. What's the one thing that we should do in terms of our smoke alarms? Obviously, constantly make sure we have the batteries updated on these. Correct. Well, uh, about 3,000 people die a year from residential house fires. Most of those either had no smoke detectors or ones that aren't working properly. Wow. So people need to check and change their batteries, check to make sure they, they work monthly. Yeah. Uh, change the batteries every six months with change your clock, change your battery. Obviously, that's what we recommend. Okay. Now, there are some batteries out there now that last 10 years, but we still recommend testing them once a month. Okay, it's little things, but good information as well. Right. Gary, thanks so much. You're back with us at 6 o'clock. We hope you join us. Then we are going to start a fire. We're going to test these and see which one works best with all the smoke and whatever. Hope you join us then at 6 o'clock here on Not On Your Side. Larry Smith reporting live from Newport. Let's go back to you. We'll see you then.